let's focus on the ethical issues in computing. Like any other technologies, information technology also faces ethical issues. There are in general three main types of ethical issues. They are the personal privacy, access right and harmful actions. What is personal privacy? In terms of personal privacy, IT enables exchange of information on a large scale from anyone, from any location or any part of the world at any point of time. This increases the potential of disclosing information and violating the privacy of an individual and group of people due to its widespread disseminations worldwide. Hence, necessary precautions must be taken to ensure the accuracy of data as well as protecting it from unauthorized access or accidental disclosure to inappropriate individuals. Now, next comes the access right. Of course, we have already discussed about that in our previous discussions. However, I would like to throw some more light on what has been done already. The second aspect of ethical issue in computing systems is access right. The popularity of international commerce, in short e-commerce or electronic commerce through internet has made the area of computer security and access right with a higher priority in corporate and government agencies. Next comes the harmful actions. In computer ethics, harmful action means injury or negative consequences such as undesirable loss of information, loss or damage of property and unwanted environmental impacts. This principle prohibits the use of computing technology in ways that harms the users, the general public, the employees as well as the employers. The third one is the privacy issues. Most people rely on computers for fast and easier way of communication. The cyber world and its related crimes, they have no territorial barriers and this makes everything complex because evidence is very hard to collect. Privacy issues may also damage individuals or group of people discarding all privacy barriers who carry out their activities totally online. With the privacy issues at the center stage, the important areas of discussion are in security from the technological front here are due to cookies, spamming, web tracking and hacking. Cookies of course is the data that is stored on a computer's hard disk for further reference in future. These cookies trace the people's action in order to gain the user's statistics on various websites. The users leave trails of personal information while visiting the websites through the browsers. The web bug is the next concern. It is a file object placed on the web page or on an email message to track the user's behavior in the form of a spyware. Unlike a cookie which can be accepted or declined by a browser user, a web bug arrives as just another GIF on the web pages, usually transparent. It is more powerful than a cookie because of its ability to transmit information to a server other than the one that holds the web page the visitor is viewing. Hacking, we have done enough of hacking. Once again, we'll try to spare some more time on that. Hackers access the remote computer system from any part of the world to carry out multiple purposes like social engineering attack, personal data theft, fraud, data destruction, damaging the computer system and its resources for mere pleasure and personal satisfaction. Spamming, this is also done earlier but this is a key problem for all the users who use internet constantly because it disturbs the privacy issues. Abusers continuously bombard email messages to a particular address or group of addresses. 
Now we'll move on to the security policies and strategies. Security policies. Today's security challenges require an effective set of policies and practices like audits, backups, system updates, and user training. We have discussed almost all these factors in detail in our earlier course modules. Some of the policies that may still help in developing a sound cyber served community are listed here. They are updating software and systems, conducting top to bottom security audits, consideration of social engineering, demanding audits from vendors and business partners, providing new and continuing security education, performing regular data backups, physical securing of information assets and maintaining the industry compliance. Next comes security strategies. An effective cyber security operations is the primary key in managing the operational process of the organization, protecting its assets including its reputation, intellectual properties, its owner and employees within the cyber infrastructure. Organizations investing in sophisticated technical solutions trust that they are protected from cyber threats and attacks, but they do not accept the fact that they are only defensive techniques rather than being full protective. Hence, it is very essential to develop an effective cyber security strategy. There are four important key points to be focused by the organization while developing an effective security strategy. They are understanding the cyber security risks related to the organizational and critical business operations, integrating across personal information assurance, physical and technical security, establishing protective monitoring to prevent and deter the insider threat. We have elaborately discussed about that. Planning the strategies based on accepted types of attacks. That also we have handled very clearly the various types of attacks on various security systems and how to handle them. Conclusion In this module, we have elaborated the evolution of cyber law, various ethical, legal and privacy issues faced by the individual organization and the government with the security policies and strategies to overcome the same. Thank you.